Mental health challenges can affect people who seem like they're on top of the world. Monte Ball played in a Super Bowl alongside Peyton Manning, but inside he was struggling. Our Jessica Porter reports that he's now finding strength in sharing his own story and giving a platform to others. very fortunate and grateful to have been blessed with the abilities to play football. From the time he played in high school, Monte Ball was special. He graduated from high school in 2009 as the St. Louis area's all-time leader in rushing. He traveled to Wisconsin for college. There he became larger than life. That immediate stardom was like a cultural shock in a sense of, of everywhere you went, you felt like people were judging you, staring at you. At times I really felt I couldn't focus in class because people were all looking at me or asking me for autographs. Ball, middle, over the top. The stats speak for themselves. Ball set the college football record for touchdowns. The Badgers won multiple Big Ten titles, but privately, Ball was struggling. Obviously I suffered um, a lot. It started in college with uh, depression and anxiety. Um, significant depression actually because I paired that with, you know, self-medicating with alcohol. And as we all know, that's a slippery slope. There were many times where my running backs coach at the time named Thomas Hammock, who would smell it on me that morning of practice, um, and he would pull me to the side and chat. You have to understand, you know, now is not the time to become in the practice hungover. I wanted him to understand, you know, everything that you do matters, uh, both on and off the field. And you know, you, you may not like me now, but you will thank me later. When he was in the building, he was the hardest working guy uh, in the program. You know, but obviously, you know, he, he liked to have a good time outside the building. At the young age of 18 and 19, I really didn't know how to speak on it. I really didn't know who to talk to. I, I didn't even know that, that I was suffering from it. You know what I mean? With the 58th pick in the 2013 NFL draft, the Denver Broncos select Monte. I say it is in this way as if I've, I've almost, I like packed up my alcoholism in my suitcase and took off to Denver. Growing up in Wentzville, Missouri, the Denver Broncos were Monte Ball's favorite team. He came to the Mile High City one year after Peyton Manning's arrival. The team made the Super Bowl in his rookie season, but Ball was barely a factor. You know, I had some guys tell me like, his, you know, maybe his lifestyle choices were contributing to problems with him being in condition without, you know, throwing him under the bus, but they were saying there was stuff going on. Years of depression were beginning to take their toll. So was the drinking Monte used to cope. It's where I became super withdrawn from all my friends. I started drinking about four nights out of the week. He's a grown man, right? And he's got a mind of his own. Monte opened the 2014 season as the Broncos starter. He got hurt five weeks into the season. It would be the end of his time in Denver. When Denver released me, I actually had a conversation with Elway, you know, prior to me packing up my locker and, and leaving. And he shared with me that, uh, you know, he's kind of heard around town that I like to party and I like to party hard. And he's not lying. He wasn't lying at all. A brief stint with the Patriots came to an abrupt halt in February 2016. That month, Ball was arrested in Wisconsin for felony domestic abuse. A police report says he threw a woman into a table, causing her to injure her leg and her head. When she found out Ball was in jail, she broke down in tears. She told police she never meant to get him into trouble, but she understood why. It wasn't the first time he hit her. I literally was on rock bottom, that being my feet standing on the floor of the concrete floor of jail. And I told myself, how do I go from a second round draft pick, uh, decent grades in school? I was no straight A student, but obviously I, I did enough. Monte watched the Denver Broncos win Super Bowl 50 from a jail in Dane County, Wisconsin. That really showed me, okay, this cannot go with me into my future. Um, this cannot, I cannot be drinking moving past this point because that is not the Monte that I even know. He found out he would become a father on February 16th, 2016. 
He says it is the day he entered recovery. I want for him to understand that his father is not perfect, that his father has made mistakes, and that his father is a recovering alcoholic. And I also want him to know that if he ever, ever comes across a situation that he's confused about, that he can feel comfortable coming in and talking to me about it. Monte is talking about mental health. He's launched a podcast, Untapped Keg. So what is it that you, you do today that is different from what you used to do when you were when you were using. Through Wisconsin Voices for Recovery, Monte works directly with people to improve their mental health and cut down on their substance abuse. And his book will come out in summer 2021. I'm a firm believer in that football was not supposed to be the end of my journey. Um, football was just the start of it to sort of grab everybody's attention and speak on something that impacts every single person in America on the planet. And tomorrow we'll take a 360 look at our mental health journey, exploring how a year of isolation is affecting the mental health crisis in our state. That's right here tomorrow at 530.